focus more on resistance training and high intensity. So let's go through that. Um, I think it might sound, uh, for lack of a better word, counterintuitive for a postmenopausal woman to select a weight where they're only doing six reps. I think a lot of the time what I see is very small weights and doing very high rep, you know, 20, 30s, and I think that's considered safer or um, – yeah, that's a conf. You know, it's that social confound because no one wants to see their grandma in the gym lifting heavy weights and doing deadlifts, right? Because mm. it's just not in the mental scope. But from a physiological perspective, when they're doing that high rep, the twenty, thirty, it's a metabolic stress that puts them in that moderate intensity. It's not going to stimulate lean mass gain. It's going to stimulate that visceral fat. You might get a little bit of muscle tone, but it's not strength. Because that, again, is all about breaking down things, and we don't want to do that. We phase people in. We get them comfortable. We want them to move well first. We want to find their anomalies. If you have osteoporosis, you know, we look at having support. So we might use a Smith's machine instead of a, just a, a plain rack, right? So we're looking at what are the anomalies? What are the movement limitations? And then we have to apply load once we learn your mechanics to move well. Um, and then when we talk about, like, bone mineral density, Resistance training significantly helps with that, right? We see the load, we see the multi-directional stress from resistance training improves bone mineral density. Walking doesn't do it. It's not a multi-directional stress. Running doesn't do it. It's not a multi-directional stress. The two biggest things for helping with bone density is resistance training and jump training. So maybe you're, um, you know, jump roping as a warm up. So you're getting that multi multi-directional stress through the bone that is going to stimulate bone growth and density. So running, not not it. And so when you tell people, okay, let go on a moderate intensity walk, I'm like, no, if you're a guy that helps with cardiovascular health, but for a woman, it doesn't, it's not a high enough dose to instigate better vascular compliance, nor is it a strong enough stress to recomp the body, nor is it a strong enough stress to create any kind of lean mass and strength development.